When male angler Karens get mad, what do they do? That's what we're going to talk about in this reaction video right now. Now, I don't agree with coming in on someone while they're fishing, and I've attempted to never do it. When it happens to you, how do you handle it? The following video is from Fern the Fisherman, and I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And I think you should go watch the whole video with the captions, and it'll give you a better idea of this situation. All right, bro, we'll head out. And this is his run in with a dude who is just flat out crazy. No, we're, I'm leaving. You can have it. Go ahead, do that starts doing donuts and it leads to a question of what is right and what is wrong when you're out there fishing now let me make it very clear i don't think you should come in on people or intrude on their space but if you're not in a tournament and you're just out there fun fishing can you have or share water with the same person and i know people are going to say whoever was there first has dibs nobody wants sloppy seconds but they're not out there fishing for hundreds of thousands of dollars these are guys just out having a good time but when one male karen goes crazy It leaves a bad taste in everyone. And it brings up some questions. Is this angler harassment? Does this guy that's on meds, this Karen, does he not realize that, that, that this actually might help the fishing? Damn sure I did. That's what we're going to find out. So, is this angler harassment? How would you handle it? And if you noticed, once he finds out the guy is filming him, this is when he gets unbelievably upset. Probably because now he's in a defensive mode. Listen to your camera. I live at six. I inherited the house my parents gave me. At first, it was just, hey, get out of my spot or I'm, I'm not happy you're here. And then when the guy, when Fern points out that he has a camera pointed at him, the guy goes to the next level. And he's starts swearing and he starts telling him about how he inherited his house from his mom and dad. So f you, you didn't grow up out here. You want to bet? And then the donuts start. The funny thing is, is that in some cases, doing the donut stirs up the bait fish and actually makes that fishing better. There are many times this happens all over the country. I don't know if this angler realizes that that could have actually helped Fern and his friends catch more fish because he was just too mad and too overly excited about the situation. And while I take his side for someone coming in on him, I think there was enough room between each one that both could fish fairly easy. But this dude just took it to the next level. It was uncalled for to do the donuts, the swearing, all that stuff is just, you don't need to do it. You can share the water or ask politely for the person to leave because if you know Notice, and I don't know if I'm putting it in this, Fern says, hey, I'll leave. All right, bro, we'll head out. And then this guy gets really mad. No, I'll leave. This is my spot. I've been here forever, blah, blah, blah. And it just becomes an irate, crazy situation. And no one owns the water. Does he think that he owns the water? Can you not have a civil conversation with someone without swearing, calling them names, doing all the stuff that horrible, mean, ugly people do? But couldn't they just work together and fish that area? One go one way, one go the other way? Did he need to jump up and start doing donuts and being a jerk? So I want to hear your comments below. Again, thanks to Fern the Fisherman and his channel. A link is in the description below to see the whole video so you can hear for yourself. And again, it really depends on who was there first, but we can share the water. If it isn't a tournament day or you're not fishing for money, can't you take a spot and fish together? You're only there for a little bit. Or be civil to the person and say, look, I'll leave. That's what that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do more of because these days everyone feels like they're backed into a corner and it's all negative. It's swearing. It's cussing. It's, it's, it's being derogatory towards them. It's calling their fa family names. Doing all sorts of stuff. And I only say that because... In 
in some recent videos, I've had people text and DM me some really fine, nice things about myself and my family, which were just completely uncalled for. And just because I gave an opinion. So you tell me, was this male Karen right? I guess I want to hear your, I want to hear what you say. So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take your kid fishing, get your fish on. Should you find your own spot? I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.